a barbell routine. So all you need is a barbell, maybe some plates, and a kettlebell. We're going to do four exercises, and we're going to do 30 seconds of work with 30 seconds of rest. At the end of the fourth exercise, you're going to rest for two minutes, and you're going to complete three total rounds. Romanian deadlift. So I'm going to take this barbell over here, and you can grip the barbell in a couple ways. You can go one hand over, one hand under, or you can go both hands over, about shoulder distance apart. I'm going to start standing straight up, and I'm going to initiate the movement by sitting my hips back, keeping my knees soft, and then coming up, returning to the start position. So I'm going to inhale, sit my hips back, and exhale, bring my hips forward, standing up nice and tall. Just make sure that as you're going through the deadlift, you don't let your shoulders drop from the weight of the bar that you really keep your shoulders pinned back so that you're supporting the weight. And that's going to work your posterior chain, your butt, and the hamstring. The next exercise we're going to do is a bent over barbell row. We're going to do this exercise in the same position as the bottom of that Romanian deadlift. So we're going to grab this bar, hands about shoulder width apart, we're going to sit back into the hips. And I'm going to pinch my shoulder blades together as I bring the bar to about the middle of my torso. Just like that. Pulling the shoulders back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and returning to the starting position. The next exercise we're going to do is a barbell overhead press. So I'm going to bring this barbell to my shoulders, and if you have a squat rack that you can use to get the barbell to your shoulders, you can do that too. I'm going to use a thumbless grip. Elbows pointing down. I'm going to stand up nice and tall with my glutes tight, my quads tight, and my abs engaged. Then I'm going to breathe out as I press the barbell over my head. Breathe in as I bring it back down to the starting position. Breathing out, going up, making sure I'm not arching my back as I'm pressing it up, and breathing in, bringing it down. The last exercise we're going to do is a kettlebell swing. I'm going to place the kettlebell just a few feet in front of me, and I'm going to assume a deadlift position. Hips sitting back, torso nice and straight. I'm going to grab the kettlebell with two hands and pull my shoulders back. Inhaling as I pull it up high into my groin, and exhaling as I snap my hips out to elevate the kettlebell. It's really important that as you're swinging the kettlebell, you keep it high in your groin, and you don't let it come all the way down below your knees and you keep your back nice and straight so that you're not hunching your back over. And at the top, making sure you're not arching back, you're standing up nice and tall.